Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I failed So can we work it out? A piece of me tells me that like no matter how much I try to get a head start on this that it will be overwhelming when it's time for the party and I'm going to be trying to juggle my twin girls and try to get all this stuff done which is why I don't want to happen. So a piece of me feels like I'm not doing enough. I'm like getting anxious because I'm like what could I be doing you know? All the time will tell Ooh. All the time will tell Hello and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Lede and I'm a stay at home working mom to four children. In this video, I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I try to prep for my, a birthday party. This birthday party is for my two oldest boys who have birthdays that are very close together. This birthday party is kind of special because um, it has taken me a long time to get to this point. I tried to have a birthday party for my oldest son when he turned one. And I was so traumatized by the experience that I kind of been avoiding it, even though my children have been asking for a birthday party for a long time. I just didn't feel confident that I could do it without being overwhelmed. But since starting my Fly Lady, pro my Fly Lady journey, I've learned so many tips and strategies on how to plan stuff out a little better and how to be productive. And I felt like I had the tools to feel more confident than ever that I could do this and not be overwhelmed in the process. I'm in a spare room upstairs and uh, I just went ahead and have sorted out all of those party supplies that I bought. I've been buying party supplies little by little for about a month now, and so I've just been kind of throwing it up here. But in order to start working through some of the stuff I need to do, I just needed to have it organized and I needed to see what I have and know where everything is. So I will quickly show you some of the things that I've got in order to prepare for this party. Um, for those of you that are interested, and maybe if you you don't do a lot of party planning, like me, um, this might be helpful to you as you're preparing for your party planning. Over here, I have like stuff, like food stuff. So this is these are candles that will go on the cake. Um, I'm, we're ordering a cake, but I have to make a, a cake for my son because he has food allergies. So I'm gonna put this cake in here, and it has a little protector um, to keep it safe. And then down there, that's gonna be two cupcake stands that I need to assemble at some point this week. We have lots of paper plates. Um, these are the fires that will go under, or whatever those, I don't know what they're called, but basically we'll have pans of food and then we'll put the fire underneath it to keep it hot and we have like this whole little tray set up. This is, these are some plastic cups. I actually need to move them over here to this category. Um, but these are cups that we'll have at the party for everybody to drink with. Um, we have some utensils knives, spoons, forks, and we have some extra um, napkins here. Over here, we're gonna be having some games for the kids. Um, this is just some table decor. Over here, I have like hanging decorations. So um, I guess this and this, and there's some other pieces. It's kind of like one big kit. So I'll be hanging that stuff. And then we have like the, um, what this called? We have some streamers here that we can also use. I don't have a place in mind for the streamers, but I figured they wouldn't hurt to have. They're like 97 cents each. Over here, we have a section for little goodie bags that we'll be sending home with the kids. Honestly, I hope we have enough goodie bags. Okay, over here, we have some serving utensils that I got from the Dollar Tree. Over here, this is what I'm gonna be working on today. This is stuff that needs to go on the wall. So there's a happy birthday banner here. Um, just another happy birthday banner because we're going to be decorating two areas that will be nice for like taking pictures and stuff. We have tablecloths. So I'm actually going to use these two tablecloths to go on the wall. And then these two, these are actually going to be tablecloths for the table. Pop them at the Dollar Tree. Over here, this is our balloon station. So I have lots and lots of balloons. The Mario themed balloons that came in that kit that I was telling you guys about. Here are some more Mario themed balloons. And then we got a lot of balloons in the Mario themed color. 
this is a balloon blower because I plan to make a balloon arch. I saw Tiffany Beeston do it on Beauty and the Beeston and I was like, oh, that looks so easy. Even, it looks like I could do something like that. But I wasn't about to be blowing up all the balloons. So I got me a little electric balloon pump to make the job faster. I've used it once and I really like it. It's like super, maybe a little too fast, but it's so much better than me blowing my lungs out. And then over there we have a little helium tank that I got from Walmart. And then over here, this is what my boys will be wearing. I got them some Mario themed shirts. And then I got these little buttons at five below um, that says it's my birthday. I got tape to help me hang stuff up. And I also got thumbtacks, where did the thumbtacks go? Okay, also got thumbtacks. I got these from Walmart. So I'm gonna have to start working on this while my girls are taking a nap. And if I get this accomplished, just hanging up stuff, that would be a win for me. So here I am starting to hang up some wall decor that I'm going to be using for the party. Um, I know I mentioned earlier that I'm on a fly lady journey and so it's kind of like what does fly lady have to do with having a birthday party right? Um, so fly lady has this thing called cruising through the holidays and it's basically her method of helping um, overwhelmed busy moms get through the holidays and so I did that this last Christmas and I feel like it really made a difference in my Christmas experience and helping me just feel like I could do more and I could do things and feel in control and confident and one thing that she really stressed was doing your planning super 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 early and spacing out all the things that need to get done so basically don't procrastinate and just doing taking really small bite-sized pieces out of your project each week until you get close to it when it's time to do what you need to do and so I took a huge lesson from that and that's what I did for this birthday party um, several weeks before the party which is what I think most people do anyway I started planning for it I started shopping like on my shopping days I would make sure to include a few things for the party and each weekend I had a few objectives and tasks that I needed to get done and so I planned out the week before the party exactly what needed to get done that I could think of and then I went ahead and assigned different tasks to each day so that I could just be doing a little bit every single day. You guys know that I have twin baby girls and so a lot of this stuff was done during their nap time. You guys also know that I work super, super early in the morning and sometimes I do take a nap when they are taking their nap. And so that meant that in order to get this stuff done, I had to pretty much sacrifice um, that sleep for this week and I just either was taking care of my daily responsibilities, taking care of my family, or I was working on this party and all my free time. And so um, on day one, I just decided to knock out all of the wall decor because I felt like that was just pretty much the heavy lifting. All right, so um, I'm here and I realized that my girls are still sleeping and I had a few moments left. So I decided to go ahead and hang up these little wall or ceiling decorations um, just to go ahead and knock that out while I had an opportunity and so I'm so glad that um, fly lady has come into my life because I feel like one of the biggest struggles that I have as a mom is constantly battling this feeling of being overwhelmed I feel like I try to avoid being overwhelmed so much that it has really caused me to just miss out on a lot of things and to avoid a lot of things um, that I feel like I actually want to do but I'm just so scared of being overwhelmed that I just kind of like hold myself back from doing things that I know that I want to do with my family and so fly lady has been very helpful to me because I feel like she gives me the tools to like be able to like work through stuff and to feel confident and to feel like I have it under control without being super overwhelmed so that's why this party is important to me and that's why I wanted to do it this was I I needed to prove to myself that regardless of the size of my family and regardless of the amount of responsibilities that I always feel like I have on my shoulders that I could still do fun and special things for my family like having a birthday party traveling and doing all kinds of things and not feeling like I'm gonna crumble in the process and so um, like I mentioned before this was this is really important for me to prove it to myself that I can do this stuff
today <laughs> and I'm very happy. I feel like just doing that little bit of work like has taken so much out of me, like I feel tired. And so I'm so glad that um, I'm starting this crap early. Um, this is why I don't really throw a lot of parties is because historically I have waited until like one or two days before the party and then I get tired but I feel like I can't stop because people are coming and uh, I'm just really grateful that I get to take a break, not for very long. I'm gonna go make lunch and feed the babies and do all the, the things, but um, I accomplished my little small goal. And honestly, maybe the goal is a little too big. Actually, no, my original goal is just to make sure everything that needed to go on the wall got on the wall. The ceiling was extra, but um, the ceiling thing, I don't know why, I just having to like crawl on my table, crawl up and down the chair. That took a lot more energy than I expected. So I'm glad that I get to have a break. That's all I'm saying. Um, because if like the party was tomorrow and I was like, oh, I need to bake, I needed this, I need to blow balloons, I need to, mm -mm. so I'm very grateful that that is not the case and that I'm starting early enough where I can just take a small bite out of it. And then um, tomorrow I will resume. I'll do, figure out what I need to do for day two. Okay. <clears throat> It's day two. Babies are down. You guys know, if you don't know by now, I'm a nap time warrior, which means that if I need, if anything needs to get done for the party, I need to do it now. So my goal was to kind of. Okay, my goal was to try to handle some of the big, heavier lifting tasks first. So I was gonna make a balloon arch today, but my husband says he thinks it's a little too early. So I'm going to try to think of like little tasks that I could knock out, like stuff that I think would hold me back um, on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm trying to think of like all the little stuff that needs to get done that I haven't really put on a to-do list. By the way, I really don't feel like doing this today. I would rather be resting or working on something else, but I really don't want to be super overwhelmed this weekend. So all the little tasks that I can do, the better. So what usually helps me when I don't feel like doing something is turning on a podcast. So this day, originally I wanted to make some balloon arches for the party. I had two balloon arches planned for decorations. But my husband said it was probably too early to work on those and I agreed with him because I got like the cheapest of the cheap balloons and though all a lot of websites said that you can make your balloon arch up to one week early I knew for a fact that these balloons wouldn't last that long because I blew some balloons up like a couple of days ago and they were already starting to look horrible so I felt like a little it gave made me feel a little anxious because I'm like well that if I can't do it today that means that I'm gonna be working on that thing like when the party's nearby and really close and that's gonna be a source of stress for me. And I was really hoping to just get it done and not have to worry about it. So I decided that I wanted to work on some other little tasks that I knew would be coming up because my mind, my, my thinking process was that usually that's what holds me back is all the little tiny things. Like they seem like they're not a big deal, but then when they all come crashing down on you at once, it can be quite overwhelming. So my son has food allergies, so I decided to go ahead and make his cupcakes because he will not be eating the same cupcakes or cake as everyone else because of his allergies and then I also decided what I was gonna make him for the party and I was gonna make him like a rice dish and so I went ahead and just started prepping some of the ingredients for that and then I was trying to think of more stuff to do so I decided that I wanted to go ahead and set up the party favors um, I wasn't sure if I had enough party bags for all the kids that were coming I, when we first started planning I had a certain number in mind but the number kind of grew so I was just like you know what let's for the sake of being productive and moving forward on this project I'm just gonna work with what I have and so that's what you see me doing here and I was just kind of feeling like some type of way this day because I was just feeling like I really wanted to do the heavy lifting at the beginning of the week and I think I was just feeling a little bit held back from my goals and it was just making me feel like man if I don't really get this heavy lifting done early then I'm gonna be so stressed out by the time the party comes and that is what I don't want um, 
you guys like you, you probably can see and hear the drainedness that's going on in my voice like I just feel like really overwhelmed which is annoying because that's why I've been starting so early that's why I'm taking baby steps every day a piece of me tells me that like no matter how much I try to get a head start on this that it will be overwhelming when it's time for the party and that a bunch of stuff is going to come up unexpectedly and I'm going to be trying to juggle my twin girls and try to get all this stuff done which is why I don't want to happen so a piece of me feels like I'm not doing enough you know and that I could be doing a lot more to reduce that feeling of being frustrated and I'm like getting anxious because I'm like what could I be doing you know but then the other piece of me is just like it's these little small tasks like that's actually what stresses you out when it's time for the party like you want to work on this but you're like no I have to go do this I have to do that and so it's like by getting these little small tasks out the way I know that I'm making life so much easier for myself on party day because I can actually focus on the major things like putting out the food putting out the drinks the balloons I don't have to worry about like little small details I'm trying to remind myself that you're not in danger and I know that's like a weird thing to say but I was like on Will Smith's um, Instagram and he was talking about how fear is this kind of concept that's made up in our head and it only lives in our brain and it only lives in our world as far as our brains concerned and sometimes I feel like maybe that's where anxiety comes from, is from fear. And he's like, there's a huge difference between fear and being in danger. And one thing I'm trying to remind myself is like, okay, like if it doesn't go according to plan, it's not a big deal. Like, you know? So even just saying that right now, like has given me a little bit of relief. So, um, I have a baby that's trying to wake up. So anyway, I'm just going to kind of revisit oh i have a baby waking up so i guess nap time warrior activities are done so this is like the friday before the party and the party is on sunday by the way and i was determined to make two balloon arches i was like i cannot put this off any longer um once again i was concerned that if i made it too early the balloons would look like crap by the time the party came and if I waited too long, it would just be super overwhelming because remember you guys, I'm trying to get all of this done during nap time. And so I was just like, you know what? It has to get done today, two of them. And so um, I got this idea on, after watching um, Tiffany Beeston on Beauty and the Beeston, watching one of her party prep videos. And she said it was like really easy to do. And it really just kind of added a wow factor to your party. So I was just like, well, it looks simple enough. Like even I could do this, so I'm gonna go for it. And so here you see me and my husband just working through it. That balloon pump that I'm using right there, you guys, is a lifesaver. I cannot imagine blowing all of these balloons with my own lungs to accomplish the balloon arch effect. And as true to my nature, I have my podcast in and, uh, you know, I just have to focus because there's so much to get done. And so my husband and I, we blew up a lot of balloons and I bought this little balloon strip. It was like a pack of two and it was like $7.99 on Amazon. And so basically what you do is you thread the balloons through that transparent strip. And then um, just basically you just keep going down it and then it kind of creates the balloon arch effect. Um, one thing that one tip that I heard a lot as I was researching how to make this balloon arch is that you should make sure that your balloons are not too big. You want to use like medium sized balloons or you want to use like a variety of medium and small balloons, but just try not to make them too big so that they will fit on there and look kind of nice. And so, yep, here's me and my husband trying to get this thing together. And this is just the first balloon arch. I was only able to get one balloon arch done during nap time and so um, this is us trying to hang it and what I ended up doing was just taking like a piece of ribbon and can like like putting it as close to that little transparent strip as possible and then pulling the strings up and thumbtacking them to the wall or taping them to the wall 
the balloon arch is very, very light. And so that was pretty much that was all that was needed in order to get it to stay up there. And so me and my husband were trying to figure out how to make it like look nice because initially it was all looking wonky and stuff. And so I think we were able to manage to figure out a way to get it up there and kind of look like semi-decent. Here you can see me just adding a couple of balloons at the end of the strip. I didn't add enough to kind of reach all the way across. And so after adding those couple of balloons, it now is our desired length. So as I mentioned before, I was only able to work on one balloon arch during nap time. So in order for me to meet my goal of having both balloon arches done, I had to go back and work on this again later around dinner time. Um, I had my husband kind of take over with the kids and I was completely exhausted, but I just knew that I really needed to get this done to be on track. Um, for my goals and so I went upstairs once again put my podcast in and I started working on this balloon arch this balloon arch was probably doubled the length of the first balloon arch and this time I didn't have help but um, I just needed to get this done so that I could go into the weekend feeling confident and not overwhelmed I still want all of you and I know all your colors And I guess cause of that I can think of no others Yeah, I need you to breathe without you, I'm lost I'm lost, yo What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line, but no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. So this was party day so the day before was friday and the biggest task that i had for that day was just to do a last minute um shopping so i went and picked up like the desserts that we were going to be having for the party and then for the most part um saturday was pretty laid back for me but my husband had to do a lot of work he um uh, we, i didn't show it in the vlog but he had to go pick up um chairs and tables and um, lots of little things that we needed to pull the party together. I can't remember if he picked up a speaker this day or the day before, but um, there was a, just a lot of things that I needed to work out and coordinate with my husband um, in order to make the party successful. So what you see me doing here is just working on the stuff that needs to be handled the day of. So just the last minute decorating. And honestly, um, it was a lot of stuff to do. Considering how much I tried to like do in advance, I felt like it was quite a bit of work, but it totally felt doable. And then around Saturday, I actually started getting a lot of help. Um, we had my in-laws were in town. And so I had a sister-in-law and a brother-in-law that helped us out tremendously, pull everything together. And, uh, yeah, like I honestly feel like if it wasn't for like the help of family and stuff, handling the last minute, minute stuff, I would have been more overwhelming. But because we had so much help and I gotten a, such a head start, um, it was a lot of work. But like I said, it was very doable. 
So on this part, I was trying to decorate this table and I totally butchered it. We ended up not using the tablecloth because the tablecloth was too long and I was trying to like tie up the ends. I saw this cute thing on YouTube and this is one of those YouTube fells. So I went ahead and moved on into the kitchen. And so here I'm just trying to set up all the stuff that we'll need for the food. My husband later on that day went to pick up um, party rice. Um, my husband is Nigerian for those of you guys that don't know. And so pretty much the food is already planned out. We're just gonna be eating some party rice and some chicken. And so I have little stations here set up to keep the food warm. And then over here we have like cups and plates and spoons and stuff like that that we'll need to uh, be able to serve food. So here I'm getting ready to assemble some little cupcake holders that will go on both sides of the cake and this is certainly one of those things that I wish I would have done in advance. I felt like having to sit down and screw this thing together definitely killed some of my momentum but um, at least it's assembled now and so for parties going forward this is something I don't have to think about. So here I'm just putting out the cupcakes and just doing the last minute things I need to do in terms of decoration. And in just a moment you will see me and my family trying to blow up balloons. I thought that it would be easier to purchase a helium machine and blow up balloons at home to save me a trip to going to like Party City and that is a decision that I don't want to say I regret, but that I will not be making going forward. If I want balloons, I'm just going to go to Party City or go wherever and get them blown up because this helium machine, I don't think was worth my time and energy. Um, some of the balloons did not float. Um, and I just felt like it didn't give me that effect that I was going for. And so, um, and the balloons did not even really float for very long, honestly. And so I knew that this had to be one of the very last things that I did before the party. But even with that, a lot of balloons didn't even make it through the party. But my kids are having fun with it. You can see balloons that are just falling on the floor. They didn't even try. And so, and I popped my little eight balloon right there. But um, yeah, but it's okay. It worked out for this time. And uh, so yeah, this is it. This is the final like decorations. This is kind of what we came up with. Um, I know it seems pretty basic, but I was very proud of myself for being able to pull this together in a nap time warrior kind of mode. Um, you guys know my time is very limited. I'm usually chasing babies around. And so for me to be able to do this, I felt so good and so confident. Um, I just, it was so important for me to prove to myself that I can take on these big projects and I don't have to feel like I can't do big stuff, do overwhelming stuff because, you know, I have limited time and my family is so big. And so this was such a huge boost to my self esteem and it just felt like I was redeeming myself and just being like, yes, girl, you got this and I can tackle a lot of stuff especially if I have the support of my friends and family uh, with me and so um, this is some of that rice I was telling you guys about it was oh so good 
and it seemed like both of my boys had a great time they have been asking me for this party for years and here's my babies y'all just they were just so sweet during the whole party i was that was one thing i was worried about them getting trampled they didn't but yeah i was saying like my boys have been asking for this party for so many years and i felt so happy to be able to pull it together and finally get it done and during the party y'all y'all know i struggle with a little bit of social anxiety so i did feel a little bit anxious but it was nothing that i couldn't handle and uh like i said my boys are just so so happy and i'm just happy i was able to conquer my anxiety conquer my fear plan it out and pull it all together so thank you guys so much for watching this party prep vlog with me if you haven't subscribed already make sure that you hit the subscribe button for more content like this i'll see you guys next time what is on your mind i think it's time to speak i have crossed the line but no not just me i'm feeling something that goes beyond us, us, us. can we work it out only time will tell it's gonna take a lot cause we've been through hell I can't be without you, I've tried and I failed So can we work it out, yeah Only time will tell